good morning it's day one in the beginning of my new life um, I'm going to drink some water and then I'm going to hop on the scale to see where I'm starting at this is the best I can do for full length mirror right now but if you notice in between these little slits you can see my current figure and here is a side view, um, obligatory side view. So yes, this is where I'm at, day one. Okay, that's my starting weight for day one. I was about 178 two months ago. So that's my starting weight. Uh, according to my body mass index, BMI, I'm in a little bit of the overweight category, um, but I am 5'8", uh, definitely more of a medium thick Amazonian build. So I'm definitely not a petite little thing. Going down to 100 pounds is something I have no interest or capability in doing. I'm just trying to lose a little bit of depression weight that I put on from making not the best eating choices. One thing I will tell everyone here on YouTube is I am not a saint. I did major in nutrition from Florida State University, but I love cheeseburgers and barbecue just like the next person. One thing I'll also say from my experience and my studies is that not all diets are going to work for every person. You could feed a Eskimo a vegetarian diet that someone in South America would eat and the Eskimo would die of heart disease. Feed the uh, Aborigine in South America a Eskimo diet and he will die of heart disease so there's different body types there's different genetic compositions and not all diets are going to work for everyone a three-day fast will go well for most everyone if you have hypoglycemia diabetes you might want to check with your doctor but then there's also the catch-22 that most Western doctors have very little nutrition knowledge um, and also they kind of have a tunnel vision when it comes to holistic remedies. One of my goals about making these YouTube videos is to be a healthy medium between the Western practices and the Eastern holistic. Um, some advice could harm you and then a lack of advice can also harm you. So most doctors will um, discourage doing a juice fast. They'll say, yes, it's good to have a juice smoothie in the morning, and that is good you know, for just a maintenance lifestyle. But to do a detox, yeah, I, do, I am an advocate for detoxing. Um, a lot of the Western practices and people in my profession, um, they would say, well, the body you know, already knows how to detox. It has a miraculous liver, kidney, colon, but our bodies have not evolved with our technology, and I do believe that it's good to give uh, your body some assistance. Taking a fast maybe once or twice a year is wonderful for the body. It's been done for centuries from different religions, Muslims fast, um, other, you know, the Buddhist, um, it does give you a certain mental clarity. Another benefit about doing a fast is that you generally spend about 30% of your caloric intake um, digesting your food. So if you ever remember what it feels like to eat a heavy meal, maybe after Thanksgiving, you're just, you know, so tired you have a lot of food to process and digest so by doing a juice fast you're giving yourself um, liquid nutrients it's like liquid lightning the body takes it in like water but it's filled with nutrients and um, it gives it frees up 30 percent more energy for other functions. Um, a juice fast will give you more energy. Another reason why um, 
I decided to go on this journey. I'm hoping to get an extra energy kick to tide me through some upcoming events. Um, I'm also hoping to lose a little bit of weight um, just to kind of restart my hormones uh, um, after being on a really bad vicious cycle of processed foods. Um, for those who are interested in doing a fast, having problems with food addictions, um, I can just tell you that the more uh, whole foods you eat, your appetite for the processed foods diminish. I've noticed this myself in just the last month from going to 178 down to 171. Um, you get into a vicious processed food cycle where um, it makes your blood sugar spike and then you crash, you're tired, and then you sleep it off, you wake up and you want to reach for it again. Um, slowly start putting raw fruits and vegetables into your diet. Having a whole piece of fruit, having a smoothie, giving yourself one nice big salad filled with lots of vegetables, dark greens, and uh, healthy fats like avocados and raw seeds. That will slowly um, free you from the addiction of food. Um, another point I'd like to advise everyone in regards to juice fasting is that um, three days is safe for m most everyone. Um, I'm going to be going a little bit longer, but I have some experience with it. So for the first three days, I'm going to show you guys a nice mild fast with the juice from the raw kit, and then afterwards, we can go uh, take it to the next level for those who are at the intermediate level. So here's some more tips to help you with your juice fast. Um, hopefully your last meal was not too heavy. Poor me, I had to finish avocados, so I pureed mine into a raw chocolate mousse, so my last meal was chocolate pudding. Too bad, but, um, <laughs> but one thing I'd like to also uh, tell you guys is that when you wake up in the morning, it's really good to drink 32 ounces of water. This is used a lot in Eastern practices in China and Japan. They drink 32 ounces of water. Um, they wait about 30 to 45 minutes before they uh, consume anything with calories. One of the reasons why they do that is that while you've been sleeping, think about it, 8, 9, 10 hours if you're lucky you know, you haven't had any liquid. Your body while it sleeps, it does its recharging. Um, it cleans, it gets rid of uh, built up lactic acid, old protein strands, uh, little, you know, yuckies. So when you wake up, it's really good to flush yourself with water first. Uh, so please remember to drink some water before you do your first juice. You can also try to um, increase your detoxing, especially if your colon is a bit sluggish. You could do um, the salt water flush in the morning where you get a liter of um, nice purified or distilled water and you put some sea salt in it, uh, drink it down, uh, just in one one go is better than in sips because it's quite salty that will definitely help your colon clean out um, so I've already had some water I weighed myself and then I'm going to start off with my detox green another thing you can do while you're on this fast is that you can have unlimited amount of herbal teas since it's a, a peak August for me, very hot. I'm making a nice um, hibiscus iced tea and chamomile. Peppermint, it's really nice too as an iced tea. It doesn't need any sugar. It's delicious as it is. So that's a, another advice I'd like to give you. One more thing I'd like to point out is um, that goes to ladies. Take your nail polish off if you can. Uh, the day before I took mine off, it, it's a good way to um, look at the changes in your health. The current state of your health can show a lot in your nails. If they're um, if if they're splitting a lot down the center, that is a uh, sign of zinc deficiency. Mine are a bit yellow from wearing too much polish. Mine tend to chip a bit on the side. They get a little thin, um, which holistically they say is a problem with clogged liver. So uh, if you can, ladies, uh, while you're doing your detox, you should uh, take off your nail polish and um, 
try to avoid wearing your foundation makeup too because your skin is going to go through a lot of changes. You're going to experience some healing reactions which could be acne coming out, um, headaches, sweat. Your sweat might change in scent uh, because you're detoxing. Um, but yeah, for, for my videos, um, I, I have a little bit of a makeup here and here, but nothing on my base. And I'm hoping that for those that decide to follow me, that they can tell me if they see any changes or improvements with my skin. So um, I'm going to start with my juice, and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later.